Last time I was really lucky in the Renman box, I got this lovely red velvet and I think it's going to be amazing for a Christmas Eve dress. The dress is going to be really simple because we're going to make the most of the Renman, which is not very big, as you can see. So we're going to use our blocks, the skirt block and the bodice blocks. If you still haven't made your blogs, I'll leave you the links in the description down below in case you want to have a look and of course consider subscribing if you're not already, I upload a video every week and that way you don't miss anything. As I was saying, simple dress, two pieces for the skirt, uh, three pieces for the bodice because the front is going to be a wrap and then a side zip. So let's go ahead. We're going to trace and cut two pieces for our straight skirt and three pieces for our bodies because the front is wrapped. The skirt is on right sides together, leaving an opening for the slit. And for the bodies, once the pleats have been secured with pins, you can place it one on top of the other and sew it right sides together to the back, hemming the neckline and armholes. We can now sew it to the skirt, finish the slit and hem. I'm going to start with the skirt and because I want to do a few things and I want to uh, make the most of my time, I'm going to make a straight skirt. The other time I worked with this block was when I did the A-line skirt, I'll leave you the link, and I want to try something different but something simple. Uh, there will be time to try more difficult stuff, but for now I'm going to do a straight skirt. And because this is half a block, half your front, for example, and your back, I'm going to use the same one for front and back, I'm going to fold my material, taking care, being careful, that the folded bit is going to be this middle. And I'm going to use the whole length I have, and in case I want to cut it, I can cut it later. Maybe this is crazy, but because velvet is so stretchy, I didn't leave much uh, seam allowance. That's why, well, of course, blocks and slopers don't have any seam allowance, but that's why I don't like patterns with seam allowance, But because depending on the material you're using and how you think it's going to behave, you might add or take off some of the seam allowance. And now with this one, I'm going to cut the other one. I'm going to sew this, of course, right sides together, and I'm going to leave a little bit of an opening, about 20 centimeters, on the hip, on the left, so I can then insert my zip later on. And of course, uh, try with the needles you're going to use because I thought that with this material I could use a stretch needle and apparently my machine said no. Machine says no. So I'm going to be using a thicker needle. This is the skirt done. It looks a bit more of a pencil skirt than a straight skirt, maybe because I didn't leave as much seam allowance, but it doesn't really matter. If I think it's a bit tight when walking, I can still open a slit on the side, so it'll be okay. One thing I didn't say before, it's that you have to be really careful when cutting your velvet because the fur has a direction and you can't cut it uh, the other side up, for example. When I work with remnants, I always uh, try to make the most of them by cutting both directions. Not on the grain and then cross grain, but I mean, if I, can, if I cut it on the grain like this, then maybe if the rest of the pattern doesn't fit, I cut it like this. It's still on the grain, but it's the other side down. So, you can't do that with velvet because it will look weird. The fur will 
have a different shine to it and it will look terrible. So be aware of that. And this is the amount I have left to do the bodice. So let's see how we do that. And because I want to do pleats on the shoulder, so it looks a bit fancier for the holidays, I'm going to leave more fabric on the shoulder, but not to the side of the armhole, but to the side of the neck. So I'm going to leave another five centimeters that then I can pleat to uh, make it a bit more special. And with our bodies ready, we can put it right sides together with the skirt to make the dress. As you can see, I'm turning it on and I have a few buts. The first one is that because I have so little material, the bodies, uh, because it has three pieces to cut, they are a bit uh, way shorter than I expected. They are not on my waist, but underneath the bust. So mm, because the skirt had to come up a bit, well, a few 10 centimeters, not only a bit, this is quite loose. Why is it that loose? Because this is the hip and it's come up to the waist. So I'm going to take it off now and take in at least two centimeters on the waist area. Another one is that uh, these pleats were a bit loose, so I opened the seam this bit, so I'm going to gather it a bit better there. And then the third one is that it is very tight when walking. It's not uncomfortable because uh, this material is quite stretchy, but I feel a bit, mm, I don't know, constricted. So I'm going to open a bit the this side of the skirt only just to my knee so I feel a bit more comfortable. Once the front is done again I took advantage and finished the back of the neck uh, just hemming it with a simple hem and then the same with the armholes. I didn't do the neckline because I think that uh, it's going to be too noticeable and it looks really nice with the pleats so I'm going to do it by hand. Give it a few stitches by hand so it doesn't move and it looks uh, like it has a, li a line. And now that I have opened the side so I can walk a bit better, I'm going to do the same as I did with the autumn dress I uploaded in the beginning of the month on the back, which is to just open the seam and stitch all around it. and I took advantage that that was done, so I hemmed it. I hemmed it with a simple hem, again, a bit wider, but a, a simple hem it's okay because it doesn't fray at all, this material is less bulky. And I was thinking that because it slips on and off so easily, because it's stretchy, I might not go ahead with the zip. I might leave it as a bodycon, just a stretchy thing that goes on and that's it, I'm going to try. I 
I was right, thank goodness. I can put it on and take it off with that seam. So that's it. Now I'm going to stitch the front and it'll be done. So this is the final result. I obviously hadn't planned anything like this. Mine was a bit less glamorous, a bit more normal, but uh, one thing led to another and this happened. It could have been a bit longer on the bodies, of course, but I didn't have enough material. The same with the pleats. This side could have been more pleated, but I didn't have any more fabric to pull. So that's that. I'm quite happy with the pleats. I'm really happy with the skirt and the slit it has on one side. Uh, and the dress in general is quite nice. It's very red. It's really red. But uh, I think I'm not used to it because I haven't got anything red in my wardrobe, I think. One thing maybe. But that's the good thing about Redmonds, that you get them really cheap and you get to try with new materials and maybe with different patterns, otherwise you wouldn't have chosen. It was only 10 euros. The fabric was a bit difficult to sew. Um, I don't know why, I think it was uh, getting stuck in the little dents on the machine, but I managed more or less and the rest was okay. What else? The only thing I don't like is that it's going to show my food baby a lot when I eat a lot of cheese at Christmas Eve, but anyways. I think it looks really glamorous. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for coming along this project and let me know down in the comments what you thought, any ideas, any suggestions and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already or even to share it with someone who might like this content. I'll see you next week. Bye!